Hi, all. I just wanted to try a second way of making this video. What I've done here is I've opened the web of science, and let's just imagine I want to look for microbes, but I don't want to type the whole word out, so I wrote microbe with a star that are either plant associated or in pitcher plants or in bromeliads. And let's say I couldn't spell bromeliads, so I just put bromel with a little star. And I wanted to, because who I am, look for eukaryotic microbes. I typed in protist or protozo or eukaryote or blah, blah, blah. And let's start by saying I want all three of these as topics. When I hit search, let's see how many I get. And I'm going to, oh, yeah, I have all years selected too, from 1900 to 2020. And so if I look for eukaryotic microbes associated with plants, I get a total of 61, which is fine. I can look through 61 references. But if I'm feeling ultra lazy, what I might do instead is take one of these keywords and say, well, I really want the eukaryotic part to be in the title. Now when I hit search, I get some really cool things like this one on pitcher plants and I get another one on ciliates in pitcher plants. Oh, here's natural communities of protus in pitcher plants. This one happens to be available for free from the publisher it looks like, but every article that you guys find, you can click on the SC links and then you can request via interlibrary loan if we don't have it in our library. When you hit that button, then it fills out the whole information for you, the name of the article, you don't have to type anything in and you hit submit, submit request and you will get an email in two or three days telling you that um, your article is coming. Bye.